Hello and welcome to this XCP tutorial for RT Maps. We now support XCP over Ethernet and XCP over CAN. This video will cover CAN but Ethernet would be mostly the same process. First, we have to create an EIC container using the DSpace ECU interface manager. We will cover the basic process, but please refer to the DSpace documentation for more information. First, make sure to have the A2L file corresponding to your ECU XCP interface definition. Then, you have to create an XML file pointing to your A2L file, just like this one. Now let's create a new project, and import our file. Add your ECU to your configuration, and add your application. Now you can create data accesses. Let's enable read and write access to a variable. This will be our demo container. Let's export it. Select a path. And this is done. Now let's move to RT Maps. Make sure the XCPD Space ECU Interface Manager to PCK package is installed on your system and that your license is properly set up. Using a terminal, simply execute our script with the path to the EIC file as parameter. This generates and compiles an RT Maps package. Now let's register the package generated in RT Maps. Then drag and drop our component directly on the studio. As you can see your component has different properties for your inputs and outputs. You can toggle them on or off, and either split the elements or pass it as a vector. Now, let's show a more complete diagram. You will need a CAN interface component. Currently only socket CAN and PEAK are compatible. You will have to set the same CAN bridge channel between the CAN interface and the XCP component to allow communication. Let's run our application. We can see the data coming in. We can play with the inputs to stop reading, write data again, which in my case is overwritten by the ECU. Then, we can stop the communication completely. Thanks for watching. See you in the next videos.